I feel like I'm in a Home Alone movie. That's a Home Alone Lost in New York. That's where that scene was here, right? No, I did hear that there was a, like the stabbing crime rate has gone up like tremendously. But I, I could you not look it up. Look at it. People getting stabbed. The knifing rate. Yeah, no worries. I have the four of it. Now, the Avatars battle head-to-head -head for a spot in the finals. Now the Avatars battle head-to-head -head for a spot in the finals. Who will be the world's first digital superstar? Who will be the world's first digital superstar? Alter Ego, on you Wednesday after The Masked Singer, on Fox. Alter Ego, on you Wednesday after The Masked Singer, on Fox. Alter Ego. Uh, today... I am finishing up a session for Fox. Um, I'm working on the show Alter Ego, which if you know anything about, um, it airs on Fox and it's pretty much people in, I guess you could say, I don't know if it's virtual reality VR. Doing some spots before I head out. In a few hours, Karina and I will be hopping on a plane um, to New York and we are checking out um the show fire shut up in my bones at the metropolitan opera we have never been there i think at one point karina and her friend walked in and kind of looked all over the place and tried to see what was going on in there but none of us have gone together and watched the actual show um so this is going to be super fun the uh this is the first time a uh african-american composer is premiering their work at the men opera um it's and it's an original which is like it's it's crazy, you know. Um, unfortunately, we don't always get opportunities like this. So when we do, we got to show up and represent, man. So we're excited to go and check it out. Yeah, we'll be there for the weekend till Sunday, and then we'll come back Sunday night. How excited are you? I'm very excited. I, I don't think it's settled in that we're really going. Have you seen my gold glasses? They're not right here. Right. They disappeared. <laughs> Where were they? Case. Where were they? In the glasses case. Mm -hmm. But I came yeah. over here and the glasses case wasn't there. And so what? The Holy Spirit just dropped it on Absolutely. like a dog? Absolutely. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. He's not a God of order. To reveal things Disorder. to me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone, sorry for the abrupt cut. So after we got done talking, we packed up our stuff and put it in the car and then started to make our way to the airport. We arrived at the airport and then realized that I forgot my camera. I literally left my camera in the library at the house and forgot to put it in the car. <laughs> so we drive, we make it, we realize it, and then my wife's like, yo, you can probably still have time to go back and get it. The time it's gonna take for me to get to, mind you, we're like, I'm in thick traffic right now. The time it's gonna take for me to get back home will be 5.55. I need to be back at the airport by 6.20. That's when it starts to bore. So, I mean. I, I, mm, so I hop in my car and guess where I'm going? To go pick up my camera. Okay, got my camera. And uh, I guess I should record with that, but I'm driving, so it's not happening. Now the trip can commence. I have 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. So stressful. Made it. Yay. She skipped first class to wait on me. It's okay. We'll do it again. No, we're not. We're not doing that ever again. I'm exhausted, but I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we made it in. Then we're gonna give up our seats. No. All right. See y'all when we get there. Supposed to be a sweet spot. The flight flight was good though, it wasn't too bad. I'm about to say you slept the whole time. Not too much. <laughs> about the whole I'm time? Talking about I'm exhausted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
I'm actually ready to get in the bed though. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna tour the city at midnight. No. Aren't crime rates high here? Are they? I don't know. I did hear that there was a like the stabbing crime rate has gone up. Like <laughs> tremendously <laughs> not I, I could you not look it up. Look at three charge in NYC slashing spree. This was in May. Like, that could be us. <laughs> the stack and stuff. There's another one for September. What? I'm telling you, like the knifing rates have gone. I don't know why. So, like, I don't know. Definitely, why. NYC stabbing spree may have been the work of a racist serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> Who told him that I have a jar of M&M's sitting at the house? Ooh, look at this place. It's the, the Mandarin. Mandarin. <laughs> look, the Empire State of Mind. No. It's hard to see, y'all. I'm jumping off. Ooh. Solitude. This is giving me very much honeymoon hotel vibes. Tomorrow we'll eat breakfast in the AM, and then the show starts at uh, one o'clock. Yeah, I'm excited. I am really excited are about you? this. I don't think you are. <laughs> this is gonna be a good time. We're gonna do this and then go to get ready for the morning. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, looking crusty. We just woke up. I was just asleep, babe. Good. We're getting showered up and ready. We got breakfast coming up to the room. Oh my gosh, it looks horrible. Don't mind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, y'all saw the view this morning? Look at that, yo. Down there is Central Park. Look at the city, bro. I mean, just to update on life, I have been working like crazy. Hours are just insane in terms of like what's coming in and stuff. It's been really a nice. Um, been working on different campaigns and just Recently, um, for those of you who don't know, you can probably only keep up with me on YouTube. Um, I am currently the voice of the Shang-Chi movie, the new Eternals movie that's coming out in November on November 5th. I did some spots for Dune, I did some spots for No Time to Die, the James Bond movie. I worked on the movie Lamb, if you guys saw the, the kind of the thriller or shash horror movie for Lamb. Um, yeah, so it's been really busy. It's been really busy, I, and I'm, I'm grateful. Sometimes, you know, it's you gotta take a little weekend dirt break. Fun thing is that in December, Karina and I are gonna be going to Switzerland, which we're so excited for as an actual like vacation. Um, just kind of see another part of the world uh, and kind of make up for the fact that we didn't do that this year. We're supposed to do Japan this year and last year, frankly. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my life, gameplay. So if you wanna know more, like, more, have more questions on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitch, I'm live. All right, probably should like shower and Get ready for the day. Hello. What's up? That suck at makeup. I don't know how to do makeup. Okay. You're not good though. You, babe. It only took me a, like three meltdowns. Forgot my blush palette and my bronzer, so I had to learn how to use my lipstick and my eyeshadow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you got it done. But I got it done. And now we can leave. And now I want to be a man. I'm just kidding. Ready to go? Ready to go. Snazzy, look at snazzy. Struggling. But we're making it, we're making it, we're making it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it if you wanted, didn't I? Mm -hmm. How you feeling, baby girl? This is what it looks like you hear this whole time? Yes, it does. I'm so excited for this. It's the last show too, so you know they're gonna give it they all.
at uh, the mat. It was amazing. I was getting kind of upset because I was one of the tennis was just like freely hitting B flats. Not like, upset. I'm like, okay, we get it. You're amazing. And the Did mat really was amazing. Huh? Hop on a plane and like I don't come see. Yeah, Did really, really just hop on a plane and come to the Metropolitan Opera for a couple of days? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we definitely did that. We're seeing the bows. Like, yeah. Everybody like black. You know, like, that was so special. So special. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Also, second time in New York this year, and we still clearly have not learned to wear comfortable shoes. Did, not necessarily supposed to walk with those. I mean, I, too wore long. These, I wore these to the, these are my wedding shoes. I know, but you also drove, like, they. you didn't, you didn't have to go too far. That's true. This is zero point three miles from the hotel. I'm struggling. To the so. I'm struggling. I really want to take them off. I don't know. These New York streets were barefoot. I don't know. Back at the crib, <laughs> that is not our crib. It's kind of surreal to think about that we're at the Met. And I know for New Yorkers, it's like so basic, like oh, the Met. We go there all the time. But for us. Do people go there all the time though? Like, is it like? You saw people were walking in there and like. Yeah. Jeans and it's casual. It's casual. I guess. Yeah. The next show with that many black people in the cast is Porgy and Bess, and that'll be running, I think, through Christmas. Anywho, we're about to go to dinner. Dinner's at six. Yep. So we're gonna have like an hour to just chill out, and then we'll be going to dinner. Also, before we leave, I wanted to show you guys what I was gonna, what I brought, um, for my voiceover mobile thing. Uh, here it is, the Apogee hype mic. Um, I haven't tried it for a session yet. I was gonna try it yesterday, but no sessions came in, and I'm not complaining. Um, but this is basically the mic. Um, you can literally plug it into, um, well, you can plug it into a iPad, which I love. I'm really trying to downsize my mobile rig. I don't want to carry so much things and so so many things and so if I'm going somewhere for a short amount of time, I want to be able to take like my iPad and this mic pro and just call it a day. I was supposed to try and see how it worked out, how it felt, if there was any snags. Didn't get a chance to do that. So there's that. But it's the Apogee pipe mic. So yeah. That's about it. Okay. Just ordered our food. This place is really dope. I feel like we're outside of a building, but the we're place. covered. We're outside, but we're inside, but we're outside. <laughs> saying back at the crib and we, this is not our crib back at the temporary crib <laughs> um, tonight was fun it was so fun and it's only like 7 44 in texas we hopped by amazon to go buy some books let me show you what i got okay so basically a apparently amazon books no the mall is attached to the hotel so just in so case that's you guys gonna be a know. problem tomorrow. yeah it's literally get on that elevator and go to floor three and that's literally the entire mall is right there. The link, the Jazz Lincoln Center is attached to the Mandarin Hotel. What the freak? Okay, go ahead. What Anyways, back to my YouTube channel. So <laughs> I got this one. What's that called? called? The Silent Patient by Alex Michael Eady. Is that fair? Please just give us a synopsis. Alicia Bernison's. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so basically, someone shoot. This lady kills or shoot somebody in the face and then never talks again. So she's the silent patient. I'm a missing Aisha Curry cookbook. Okay. And then I got this one, which I'm really excited about. The black food recipe book. It even has a playlist like of music to play while you cook. It has like, okay, so let me just read you like a couple. Coffee, um, Jamaican style food, 
corn and goat's milk pudding, a Ghanaian recipe, it has Ghanaian recipes, Moroccan recipes, mm. sweet potato leaves, crispy cassava skillet something. Oh, snap. Rum raisin plantains. Like, it has just, like, recipes by black family and families and African traditions. cultures and traditions. I got one that's called... Uh, Dear Martin. Dear Martin. And then another one, they both die at the end, which is kind of like a morbid title, but it sounds good. I'm interested. Cool. I'm about to go to sleep. <gasps> oh, we're probably going to watch, get some dessert and watch TV a little bit. And then tomorrow we leave. Well, we're supposed to check out at 12. No. So but we have six hours or maybe four, four or five hours so. of just like doing whatever we want until we have to get in the car and go to the airport. Let's see what we can do before we leave. All right, see y'all tomorrow. never been to such a park and now I'm here I feel Look like the I feel like I'm in a home alone movie that's a home alone lost in New York that's where <laughs> that scene was here right we're in Central Park so the world does revolve around us <laughs> oh oh you've already been here I came with Esther oh well, it I guess. Was when we, it was when we weren't married. And either day with a, a little uh, powwow at uh, Central Park. Hey, it's been fun, y'all. It's been adventurous. Everything from opera singers to just everything. Dinner. <laughs> to everything to everything. Thank you guys for checking out the vlog. V-L-A-W-G. But until next time, y'all. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and all the Instagram, Facebook, me. and all that fun stuff. Peace. Peace.